In Advaita Vedanta and Jnana Yoga Nididhyasana Sanskrit, Nididhyasana is profound and repeated meditation on the Mahavakyas, great Upanishadic statements such as, "...that art thou", to realize the identity of Atman and Brahman. It is the fourth step in the training of a sisya disciple, consisting of preparatory practives, listening to the teachings as contained in the sruti, reflection on the teachings, and nididhyasana. Four stages of practice Nididhyasana is the final step in the correct understanding of the meaning of the Mahavakyas. Classical Advaita Vedanta emphasizes the path of Jnana Yoga, a progression of study and training to attain moksha. It consists of four stages Samanyasa or Sampatis, the fourfold discipline, Sadhana Katastaya, cultivating the following four qualities, Nityanitya Vastu Vivika Nityanitya Vastu Vivikam the ability Vivika to correctly discriminate between the eternal Nitya substance Brahman and the substance that is transitory existence Anataya. Ayamutretha Phala Bhoga Viraga Ayamutretha phala bhogavaragam the renunciation viraga of enjoyments of objects artha phala bhoga in this world iha and the other worlds amutra like heaven etc. Samadhi satka sampati Samadhi satka sampati the sixfold qualities Sama control of the antakarana Dharma the control of external sense organs Aparati the cessation of these external organs so restrained, from the pursuit of objects other than that, or it may mean the abandonment of the prescribed works according to scriptural injunctions. Titiksa the tolerating of tapatraya. Sraddha the faith in Guru and Vedas. Samadhana the concentrating of the mind on God and Guru. Mumuksatva Mumuksatvam the firm conviction that the nature of the world is misery and the intense longing for moksha release from the cycle of births and deaths. Sravana, listening to the teachings of the sages on the Upanishads and Advaita Vedanta, and studying the Vedantic texts, such as the Brahma Sutras. In this stage the student learns about the reality of Brahman and the identity of Atman. Manyana, the stage of reflection on the teachings Nididhyasana, the stage of meditation on the truth, "...that art thou." Nididhyasana is a rational and cognitive process, which differs from dhyana meditation. It is necessary for gaining brahmajnana Atma brahmati vakyadnizasina vikarite by a thorough analysis of "...atman is brahman." The direct knowledge, I am Brahman, is achieved. Nididhyasana done independently of sravana does not lead to the realization of the Atman. Explanation <inaudible> 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 Advaita Vedanta Brihadaranyaka Upanishad 2, IV. 5 defines Nididhyasana as the meditation for the sake of direct vision. Yajnavalkya tells his wife, Atma vara drastavya srotavyo mantavyo nididhyasitavyo matri atmano vara dasanina sravanina matya vinaninidam sarvam viditam the self, my dear matri, should be realized, should be heard of, reflected on and meditated upon by the realization of the self, my dear, through hearing, reflection and meditation, all this is known, Brihadaranyaka Upanishad Street 2, IV.5 Sankara explains Nididhyasana as meditation with determination. Sankara states, 
Sruthe Satagunam Vijanmananam Mananadapi Nididasam Laksagunam Anantam Nervikalpakam Reflection manyana, is hundred times superior to listening sravana. Meditation nididyasana, is hundred times superior to reflection, Nervikalpaka Samadhi is infinitely superior. According to Shurasvara, Nididyasana is the culmination of the practice of sravana and manyana, which is an indirect intuition of Brahman and does not mean meditation but knowledge, vijnana, i.e., understanding the meaning of the sruti on the basis of Vasya Vakaka relation underlying the Mahavakya. Shurasvara states, Sastrakaya Nubhavene Hetabhiska Samathita Idagai Katmyasambodho Nididyasana Musiat Nididyasana is so called when, instruction about the uniqueness of the Atman is justified by proper reasons viz., the sruti, the instructions of teachers and one's own experience of the same, nididyasana consists in acquisition of vakyadhinana and this verse explains the purport of sunishnata, according to vakaspati, sravana, manyana and nidihyasana are a chain of causes contributory to the knowledge of the oneness of Brahman. The Vivana school considers sravana as the principal cause, but Shurasvara treats sravana and manyana to be coexistent. These two culminate into nididyasana. Topic: <laughs> Dvaita Vedanta. According to Madhva the knowledge acquired by study and stabilized by reflection is made the basis of steady contemplation these are the three stages of inquiry that take the form of dhyana. Radhakrishnan has defined nididyasana as the process by which intellectual conscience is transformed into a vital one there is stillness, a calm in which the soul lays itself open to the divine." <laughs> Neo-Vedanta According to Michael James, who gives an Advaita Vedanta interpretation of Ramana Maharshi, Ramana's self-inquiry is the same as Nididyasana and Atma Vichara. See also Lectio Divina <laughs> Notes <laughs>